Hello everybody and welcome to the CEO Peak Show. Today we are proudly hosting Gary Beasley. Hi Gary. How are you? So uh, my background really has been, I've been at the intersection of real estate and technology for most of my career. I did real estate private equity. I've done some operating roles as well as some investing roles. And I like the intersection of real estate and technology. And what I'm doing today is building out a real estate marketplace for housing. So you can buy and sell investment properties through our website that are already occupied and pre-certified and buy them much more like any other stock or a bond. Um, so it's, a, it's kind of a, a more of a, an investment approach where you can um, you know, eliminate a lot of the friction and cost of traditional real estate uh, transactions. Uh, for me, what I've always tried to do just philosophically is make myself a useful employee. When, whatever I was doing, try to do that job the best I could and make myself useful and also try to learn about what others around me we're doing. And I think that's another thing that's been helpful to me is not necessarily getting pigeonholed into one area. I kind of grew up in the strategy and finance world um, in corporate development, but to get more broad exposure, I always tried to get exposure to operations and marketing and HR and things like that. So when I was able to have positions to take on more responsibility, I had some familiarity with those areas. One of the things that I've always tried to do, I don't, I'm not always successful, is listen more than I talk. That's clearly not happening in this interview. But, <laughs> but what, what I've found is I've been with CEOs who just suck all the air out of the room and then everyone leaves with their, what they think are their marching orders and go do things. I try to be the opposite and uh, try to set the direction and strategy and, 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 and um, keep people motivated, but, but really learn from when we have these precious times when we're together. So that's one thing I'm constantly thinking about is engaging the team, um, not only individuals, but collectively as a team so they're, they're interacting. So that, that's important. But then also knowing individually how to best manage the different people. So we have some people who don't need a lot of direction. I could check in with 10 minutes a week and that's fine. And others need to spend an hour with going through kind of a detailed checklist of, of things and kind of everything in between. And so I think as a manager, whether you're CEO or running a division or a department, whatever, it's just knowing how to effectively keep your own style as a leader, but then in the smaller settings, be able to adapt to get the most out of, of people. What I'm working on now is trying to be an effective recruiter of people to build our company rapidly, uh, but maintain the culture that we've built. So how do we take a, you know, what was a year ago, uh, 25 or 30 person company today is 65 people. Um, we're, we're growing every day. How do I continue to attract the right people, keep the culture that we've built and bring in better and better people. As you elevate your profile, you're able to hire better and better people. When I say you know, better, oftentimes more experienced, maybe people come from a bigger company that has a different culture that might be a strong culture. Yeah. How do you do that in a way that continues to um, uh, keep the core and the essence of what we've built at Roofstock the same, but make it better by infusing it with some of these other elements. If you think back to business school, I went to Stanford Business School and um, I had a couple of, of professors there that were pretty instrumental in, from the entrepreneurship department. Uh, Joel Peterson, um, who's actually the chairman of JetBlue and was uh, taught the real estate class there. I know he's, he's done some writing um, and Jim Collins uh, has written a couple of books. Uh, 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 both of those uh, teachers were very influential for, for me as I was sort of thinking about uh, uh, building a career and, and what kind of leader that I wanted to be. They, they both have, have done some really interesting things. So I, I, I would say, you know, also just try to learn from uh, mentors that you can find whatever company you're at. It doesn't need to be the CEO. It could be someone who is even a peer oftentimes, yeah. but, but, um, it's not going to happen accidentally. You have to really want it to happen is what, what I have discovered. But what I've also found is if you show that interest, most people are willing to, to be helpful. Yeah, it was so, such a great time to spend with you, Gary. I really appreciate the time that you took of your busy day to, with our audience. And uh, Perfect. 
I wish you all the best with the Roofstock and hopefully we'll meet in the future. I look Thanks forward a lot. to it. Thank you.